Hey, what's up? Mike with Maxonics. Welcome to Car Audio 101. A great system is well planned. Research is the key. Are you looking to upgrade your factory system? Sound quality? SPL? Before you buy, you have to understand that your electrical system has limitations. Your car's electrical system was not designed for aftermarket audio equipment. Most vehicles can handle 600 to 1200 watts. As you increase demand, you have to look at upgrading your battery, alternator, and the big three. The purpose of the big three is that all of your stock wiring is approximately 8 gauge, sometimes a little bit smaller, sometimes a little bit larger, but it's not designed for the additional current draw that you get with any kind of aftermarket audio system. So we're going to come in, we're going to replace these wires with zero gauge insulated uh, power ground wire, and it will be prepared for any type of audio upgrades we're going to do to this system. The first change that we're going to make is your alternator positive charge. And that runs all the way over to the positive terminal of the battery. Your second change is down here at the engine block ground. See that straight down in there? As you can see, this wire runs directly up and comes to your battery negative. The third change that we're going to make is your battery negative to this point right here. And this obviously is a terrible ground. Uh, I'm going to show you a much better ground. All right, first thing you're going to want to do is disconnect the power and ground on your battery because we're also going to be replacing this battery with a Kinetic HC1800. Removed. We'll go ahead and take this little battery out of here. Ugh. All right, so we've got our hooker zero gauge prepared to run from your alternator charge to your positive on your battery. This is your positive stud on the alternator. First thing you're going to notice is this plastic piece, which is used to protect it. Simply pull that off. Sometimes you have to use a flathead. When you make your zero gauge connection, your terminal is going to be far too large to be able to put this little cap back on. So we'll go ahead and ditch that. Now we'll remove the factory connection. Now we're going to attach the zero gauge upgrade. Tiny nut. Try not to ruin the shot for you guys. And since I'm going to be running mine up, that's the angle I'm going to put it on. Tighten that back down. Good and tight. Now what you always want to make sure that you do is secure your wire so it's out of the way from the engine as well as a radiator. In this vehicle, radiator is placed way down low. So what we'll come back in is we'll do with wire ties. Secure up here. That way we run it. We have our shortest run possible over to our power. We've secured the charge wire from your positive alternator to positive battery. And in line, within 12 inches, we have our fuse. Obviously, the fuse isn't in there yet. We've also made a small jumper from our factory fuse block to our main connection that will go to the battery. Our next step is going to be grounding to the strut tower from the main battery. The importance of this is that this bolt goes directly to the frame of the vehicle, as opposed to this wonderful connection here, which is only as strong as these bolts and the potential weld points. This is a really flimsy piece of sheet metal. This strut tower, again, goes directly to frame. This is a great ground if you can't get directly to your frame itself. Okay, right now we're going to uh, send this down to bare metal, because uh, obviously you're going to have a lot of resistance through that painted surface here. So we've prepared our zero gauge ground with our terminal. 
sand the terminal because the manufacturers always like to make it look nice and glossy. We've cleaned up the area where we're going to have a good point of contact. Make our connection. Tighten that down. We are good to go. go. All right. Now that the engine block ground is complete and secure, now it's time to install the battery. Kinetic HC1800. All right, that's it for our big three. We've completed all of our connections now. We have all of our grounds, we have our powers. We have our alternator charge wire with the inline fuse. Factory connections are here just with a minor extension. And the Kinetic HC1800 is in place. So we're all set.